This is just going to be a very short and possibly a little shaky video. This is the crank out of the blown up BSAA 65 engine again, which I'm told has done around, I think around three or three and a half thousand miles in total apparently since I rebuilt it. Um, and I just thought this might be interesting because um, I don't suppose it'll be every day that we'll get to see things like this, but after three or three and a half thousand miles, let's call it three thousand miles, I got the sludge trap out which uh, obviously I cleaned last time when I when I prepared this crank for fitting and this is what I got I've got the uh, sludge trap tube here and I don't know whether the camera will pick that up or not but at the sort of 12 o'clock position where the bolt hole is that goes through the flywheel to locate it you can just sort of see a little bit of a flat area there and that's the start of a build up of the sludge. Now in 3,000 miles it's produced that much. So you imagine multiplying that by 10 and making you know allowing for the area and so on. By the time you got to about 30,000 miles I don't think that would even be half full. So I think the oiling system and the filtration system and so on has been doing its job quite well and uh, you probably actually would be up to perhaps a natural sort of rebuild mileage by the time the amount of sludge in there became a worry so that's reassuring I just thought I'd share that because that's at 3,000 miles from spotlessly clean and um, we'll just have a little look again I don't know how well this will come out on the camera but um, we're looking right in to the end of the chamber there and ass clean nothing in there so I'll clean up what little there is in that tube and obviously put it back together and I'll also check around the three flywheel bolts with the torque wrench and just make sure they feel all right as well but uh, overall and all in all this crankshaft is uh, looking like it's good to go again <laughs> 